Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a tour of the new LA office. So right when you walk in, this is the living room. You've got a vintage 1930s Mole Richardson studio lamp. One of my favorite things in here. All the furniture in the entire office is actually by Rove Concepts. This is the chill area where we have team meetings. Every Oppenheim Group office has a bar. This is probably the most beautiful of all of them. This is all viola marble meant to kind of represent old Hollywood. And we've got the recessed alcohol in the back. We got a couple of beer kegs here and then really, really nice chess piece bar stools. All the flooring in here is herringbone. We even put it, we ripped out one piece and put a, a metal Oppenheim Group plate in there. Thank you, Nico. We've got a gorgeous DJ setup right here. Come take a look at this. And this is a Bang & Olufsen sound system behind it. This thing is epic for events. A really nice pool table from Eleven Ravens. And we've also got a shuffleboard and a dartboard. So sometimes we just come in at night, like after dinner, just play pool, throw darts. Someone's on the DJ setup. And then we're just hanging out and drinking at the bar. We have a little whiskey bar right here. So this is a little area to sit. And this is just for whiskey. The other bar has all the other alcohol. Here's the coffee bar. So I have coffee at least a couple times a day. Got the iced and the regular Keurig maker. Got the Oppenheim Group cups. So I love fireplaces, but I didn't want a real fireplace in this office. Just too much risk and too much hassle. So this is a vapor fireplace. It, I leave it on 24 seven. I have some real wood there just to make it look cool. And I've got more viola marble. And I built out this entire library. I, I'm obsessed with libraries, so I wanted to do this. And then I just curated all these books from all over the world. They're all vellum bound books, so they're about 400, 500 years old. Some of them are obviously new from Asseline, but I mixed modern and then really old. And then I've got like vintage uh, equipment, video equipment here, vintage radios from the 30s, a lot of aldicombe succulents, which I, lo I love greenery. So you'll see those really old uh, luggages with the plants coming out of them. Then I've got a lot of plants all around the office. Every desk has a really beautiful plant on it. I like a lot of greenery. The lighting we got from Buster and Punch out of London, probably my favorite lighting company in the world. Uh, and then we carried the herringbone life core flooring. Uh, so that looks really nice, juxtaposing it from the ground and the ceiling, I really like it. And the artwork isn't really artwork, it's all Samsung frame TVs. So this whole wall we decided to do is like a Samsung TV wall. And then it just looks like an art wall. We, we bought vintage frames for them. Uh, honestly, everyone thinks they're art. Okay, Bob. And this is Nico's dog bed. He stays next to me. Uh, every desk comes with a Buster and Punch lamp. So we've got the greenery and we've got the, the brass, which I really like. And then we added candles as well. The brass is probably my favorite uh, metal, so I really like it here. Uh, the bell, of course, is also brass. I'm not gonna ring it for you guys, but I think you've probably all heard it before. This is another game from Eleven Ravens. I really like the office to be like a chill environment, you know, to have some fun. So have a beer, have a Aperol spritz, play some shuffleboard, play some pool, play some darts. We didn't know what to do with this. This was a, a billboard pole. One of the most difficult things for us to traverse when we were building out this office is what to do with this. And I'm so excited. I, I think this may be the coolest part of the office. It went from the worst part of the office to the coolest part of the office because you can sit around it and it's got this super cool lighting structure. So I could not be happier with how this turned out. All right, let's see what I can do when the pressure's on. Okay, so let me take you back here to where the bathrooms are. We have this really cool private hallway. One of my friends, one of my favorite street artists, uh, James Goldcrown did these for us. So we have a gold, a black, and a silver. And then we have two bathrooms, women's and the men's. Women's is larger and a little bit nicer as usual. We did all pink tile and then we have a little pink neon for girls. And then they have their own toilet and sink in here, which is really beautiful. And then we have the guys. Also back up and take a look at these. I love all these uh, finishes by Buster and Punch too. They're so cool. 
And we're in the guy's bathroom. I just went with blue. Also super cool, went with herringbone, black and white on the floor. More viola marble for the sink. All the toilets are floating. Just a super cool vibe here. I like it a lot. <laughs> okay guys, that's the LA office. I gotta get back to work now, all right? Get out of here.